Hello everyone. I've been flying in Costa Rica for the past three months in the Cessna 182. In this video I'm going to This is the train station in Cocovado National Park. It's very short, very narrow. First we do a pass to make sure there is no animals or tourists walking the strip. The first challenge of this strip is trying to find it. It's very difficult. It is very dense jungle. slow over tall trees and then the landing is challenging because it's very narrow rough strip it's kind of off camber and short tracks you see to the right are for a quad, not for the airplane. The only access to get here is by a six hour hike or three hour boat. I was the first airplane landing here in the past three years. There's a lot of wildlife in this national park and this is a station where tourists can stay and go for hikes, look for animals. This is Chiroles Street on the Atlantic side. The challenge here is the approach, big trees. The strip is not so long and there are big trees at the end, so a uh, late go around will be very risky. Airstrip is in really good condition, and for the takeoff, the challenge is that there are tall trees. You don't want to come here on a heavy airplane or other power airplane. Airstrip on the Atlantic side of Costa Rica near the border with Panama. It's an Indian community. You have to come in high because there are tall trees 
and the strip is narrow and rough and the challenge is there's not much space because maybe only 200 meters usable the rest is too bumpy and the tall grass makes it a challenge as well The last time I was here was five years ago and since then nobody has landed an aeroplane here. So it was an attraction for the community. This is a very remote area in Costa Rica, very poor, and it feels like people need help. So I used to come here every Christmas bringing toys for the kids. Takeoff is rough but not so challenging because there is plenty of space once you are light on the wheels and there is no big obstacles. Ballena is a private strip on the Pacific coast. The challenge here is that there is no go around and most of the time you have a tailwind. So you have to come slow and just be careful because the strip is not so long. So in reality it is more of an intimidating strip. It's not that difficult but you cannot go around. So you have to take that in mind when you're landing. The strip is in good condition, maybe the grass a little tall, but that helps you slowing down, so it's not a problem. It's a little bit on an uphill, which also helps. Takeoff is easy, it's downhill towards the ocean, no obstacles, and it's a lot of fun. Also another one that is more intimidating than difficult. First you have high tension power lines just before the strip and then you have the mountain in front of you so you don't want to go around too late. You can still go around to the left which is how you take off. When it's windy, this could be the most challenging strip in the country. There's a lot of turbulence and crosswinds. For the takeoff, the challenge is that you need to be in the air quite quickly because as soon as you're in the air, you have to turn left toward the mountain. 
Here's some videos taken in Sirena. Hello? Hello? How you I pronounce your name? In English, Alo. In Espanol, Alo. Aloe. So what do you think of Cordoba National Park Sirena Station and the flight? I think this is the best place in the world. It's amazing, isn't it? Truly. The lodge where the tourists can stay and go for hikes to see the wildlife. Here, the local radio station is interviewing me. I haven't seen an airplane in five years, and the last time it was also myself in this airplane. So he's just asking me about the flight, uh, what I think about the strip and all that. And I'm joking with the kids. These are great people and it's so much fun to go here and enjoy the community. Pero parece que entre el padre y yo hubieron 15 años que nadie vino, entonces yo fui el primero en venir en 15 años. Y parece que tampoco nadie vino en los últimos 5, entonces otra vez soy yo el único que viene. Ah, qué bueno. ¿De dónde son? Yo soy de Perú. Ah, el amigo. El amigo es italiano. Ah, qué bueno, qué bueno. ¿Y cómo, cómo ven el, el aterrizaje? Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Ese quién es? No sé, chico. No lo conoces. A ver, ven para acá, para que se... A ver, pelo de alfombra. A ver, para acá. Pelo de alfombra. <risa> <risa> Muy bien, entonces pues le agradecemos. El, bueno, un gusto. El gusto al... Ahí estamos viniendo más. Ok, tal vez nos comentan, nos, como somos la radio, en cualquier momento pueden pasar. Hope you guys enjoy Perfecto. the video. Gracias. Hope you Muchas gracias. Okay. Gracias. gracias. Very Next video I will show you a surprise that happened in Costa Rica. And I will need your support. YouTube channel. On the right hand side, there is the link. And then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support. the launching of Patreon for our YouTube channel Bad Country 182, which gives fans and friends the opportunity to support creators like Larry and myself by paying a monthly amount and receiving exclusive content. So with your support through Patreon, we will be able to make more and better content more often and in videos. And Larry can connect with you more personally, hear your questions and concerns, and what would you like to see? The really cool thing of being a patron is that every dollar amount does help. So go ahead and check out the videos. You can be a fan and look for our goals to see what we will be able to achieve together at every level of support. Come join us and be part of our adventure.